This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 5, Understanding Subtraction of Integers and Other Rational Numbers. The student outcomes for this lesson. Students justify the rule for subtraction. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. Students relate the rule for subtraction to the integer game. Removing or subtracting a positive integer changes the score in the same way as adding corresponding negative cards. Removing or subtracting a negative card makes the same change as adding the corresponding positive card. Students justify the rule for subtraction for all rational numbers from the inverse relationship between addition and subtraction. That is to say, subtracting a number and adding it back gets you back to where you started. The value m minus n plus n is equal to m. Lesson 5. Our essential question. What is the rule for subtracting integers? In example one, exploring subtraction with the integer game. Students play the integer game, recording what happened in their student materials as they select and discard cards from their hand. We're going to look at patterns to help us with subtracting integers. So in this game, the team started out and they had a score of 12. Then they select a three and their new score is 15. The description of what happened is that the score or the total increased by three. For action two, they discard a 10 from their hand. The new score is now five because 15, take away the 10, is five. The description of what happened is that the score or the total decreased by 10. So in the next round, they are starting with a score of five and the action is they select a negative one. So now their new score, what happened? It decreased by one. The next action, they discard a four from their hand. So they had four, now they discard a four and the score is zero. The description, their score decreased by four. So discarding decreased their score. So their current score is a zero. They select a negative seven and their new result is negative seven. Pause the video and um, I'm going to uncover the remaining squares and I want you to analyze what happens as you follow along whether the score is increasing or decreasing. So take a minute to study that. Now we're gonna answer the questions based on what, you, what happened during the game. So how did selecting a positive value card change the value of your hand? So let's look for an example of that. So we can see in these two examples where you selected a positive number that your score increased by that number. Selecting a positive value increases your score by the value of the card. How did selecting a negative value change the value? So selecting a negative, here are two examples where you selected a negative and the effect is that it decreased it by one and it decreased it by seven. So selecting a negative card decreases the amount by that value. It decreases the score by the absolute value of the card. How did discarding a positive value card change the value of your hand? So this one is discarding a positive. When you discard a positive, here we're discarding a positive and here we're discarding a positive. What happens to your score? It decreases by that value. When you discard a 10, it decreases by 10. When you discard a four, it decreases by four. How did discarding a negative value change the value of your hand? And discarding a negative, we've got discarding a negative two and that increases your value because you're getting rid of a negative card. 
and discarding a negative 7 increases your value by 7. So discarding a negative increases the score by the absolute value of that card. What operation reflects selecting a card? Selecting a card is addition. What operation reflects discarding or removing a card? Subtraction. Based on the game, can you make a prediction about what happens to the result when subtracting a positive integer? When you're subtracting a positive integer. So we know that that is when you're discarding. You're discarding a positive integer, it is decreasing your score. So decreasing, subtracting a positive integer, it decreases by the value. And what about subtracting a negative integer? When you subtract a negative integer, so here you're discarding a negative and it increases your score. The result of the hand increases by the absolute value of the negative integer. Example two, subtracting a positive number. Example two, follow along as we fill in the diagram. So we have cards four and two, and we want to find out what our score would be. So with our positive four, we've got from zero to four, and then adding two, so we're gonna go in the same direction because it is a positive number. And the value of your answer is a positive 6. Show that discarding or subtracting a positive card, which is the same as subtracting a positive number, decreases the value of your hand. Discarding or subtracting a positive card decreases the value of your hand. So here we've got a 4, and we are going to discard the 2. So on your number line, we had the 4 and the 2. Now you are discarding the 2, so you are taking away the 2 right there. And now your new score, after removing the 2, will now be 4. So it was six and now it is four. And in this problem, you've got a four, a two, and then you've drawn a negative two. And so our arrows, we've got the four and the two with a current score of six. And then you are going to add a negative two. And you can see that when you go back the negative two, that you ended up where you started with. And so your current sum is 4. So if you take a look at these two problems, notice that subtracting 2 gives you the same result as adding a negative 2. Removing, which is subtracting, a positive card changes the score in the same way as adding a card whose value is the additive inverse. Subtracting a positive card changes the score in the same way as adding the additive inverse. So in that problem, subtracting a 2 is the same as adding the opposite of 2, which is negative 2. Example 3, subtracting a negative. So in this problem, we have 4 plus negative 2. So let's model that on the number line. There's our positive 4. There's our negative 2. And the sum of this problem is 2. How does removing a negative card change the score or value of the hand? So we've got the 4, and we want to remove the negative 2 and see how that changes the value of our hand. Removing the negative 2, 
and now our new sum is 4. So we had 4 plus negative 2, we removed the negative 2, and our score is back at 4. For this hand, we've got adding the 2 back in. So we start with the positive 4, which is right here, and then we have the negative 2 going back, and then we are adding 2, and so we go in the positive direction, and our current score is 4. So what we learned here is that subtracting a negative gives you the same value as adding a positive. Subtracting a negative 2 gives you the same value as adding a positive 2. Removing, which is subtracting a negative car, changes the score in the same way as adding a car whose value is the additive inverse or the opposite. So what we come up with here is a rule of subtraction for integers. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its additive inverse, or opposite. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. We're going to skip this exercise for now. In this lesson, you have learned the rule for subtraction. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. Removing or subtracting a positive card changes the score in the same way as adding a corresponding negative card. Removing or subtracting a card that is negative makes the same change as adding the corresponding positive. For all rational numbers, subtracting a number and adding it back gets you back to where you started. M minus N, if you add N back in, gives you N 